My name's Silka I'm from Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. Welcome. Today we're gonna do a really simple version of Oalatas, um, which is Mexican tin art. We have some beautiful examples here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens, um, but we're gonna be making some that you can actually just make at home, um, hopefully with things you have around your house. So what will you need? You're either gonna need some heavy duty aluminum foil or a disposable cookie sheet um, that you're allowed to cut up. You need a pencil that is very, very dull. You don't want one that's sharpened. You can use a couple Q-tips are helpful, some scissors, some tape, and some permanent markers. Also what is helpful is either um, a pile of newspaper, like a stack of newspaper, or some, or I'm using some old construction paper that's faded that I'm gonna use as a pad to work on, okay? So if you're using tin foil, You just want to cut it to the, if you can keep it fairly unwrinkled, that's great. You just want to cut it to the size you want. Just spread it out. And you can take your dull pencil and just draw directly on it. Don't push too hard that you're going through the tin foil, but not too soft that you're not making a mark. I don't know if you can see that, but you can draw directly on it. Um, one of the things that is good with the tin foil is that if your tin foil gets really wrinkly, if you've drawn something really complex and it gets wrinkly, you can use a Q-tip to wipe out your wrinkles. And it'll just smooth out your tin foil. Get rid of all your wrinkles. And then you would just take your permanent marker and you, you can color directly onto the tin foil. And it looks pretty cool. It's hard to go wrong with permanent marker on tin foil, I tell ya. And so you can just keep going around, color it and make it as complicated as you'd like. I'm also gonna show you how to do it a different way. So you would take your, your cookie sheet and you'd cut it. Often the cookie sheets are double layered. So you could take just one layer of that and it cuts pretty easy. Cut it down to the size you want. And say you wanted to do something a little more complicated and you had a picture that you're interested in, you could actually take that and tape it right down. You can certainly always just draw freehand. This is just a different way. You wanna have your stack of newspaper or your whatever stack of paper you're using underneath as your work surface, because the aluminum foil needs to be able to push into something soft so that you get those edges. So if you have a picture, you can just outline it with your pencil, with your very dull pencil. And then you remove your picture that was taped on there. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, but there is an outline there. Um, and on the back, it's raised. And on the front, it's indented. You can use either side. So you can see that this one has two sides. So then you have your picture. And again, you can just color it in any way you like. If your lines don't feel like they're uh, deep enough, you can go over it again with your pencil. You can make them as deep as you like. The cookie sheet is um, much easier to work with because it's not as delicate. You can, you can push pretty hard into it if you want. You can also use paint instead of using permanent marker. But the permanent marker is pretty fun because it allows the aluminum foil to sort of shine through a little bit. You'll get that with paint a little bit as well, but not quite as much. It's not as translucent. Just gonna give him an eyeball. There's a little chicken, suitable for framing. <laughs> All right, we hope you have a really great day. Come and visit us soon. If you enjoyed this video from Philadelphia's Magic Gardens, consider making a donation of any amount today. 94% of Philadelphia's Magic Gardens budget comes from admissions and other public programs. Go to phillymagicgardens.org and click on support to donate. We miss you and can't wait until we can welcome you back to this magical place. Thank you so much for your support and we hope to see you soon.